Hello, welcome back to the channel. And um, today I'm dipping my toe for the first time this season back into non-league, uh, taking in Chesham United versus Hungerford Town. And I'm particularly interested in how the referees at this level will implement all these new changes. So we've a little over an hour and a quarter to kick off and it's an hour to get there. I suppose I better get going. Just arriving at the ground now in plenty of time. No thanks to the blooming temporary traffic lights in Aylesbury. And I didn't exceed any speed limits, just uh, in case anyone is listening. So yeah, 15 minutes to kick off. Outside of Chesham's ground, never been here before. I'm going to stop the video now and restart it as I pay to go in. Oh, this ain't bad. So I've decided to position myself opposite the benches. Cheshire in a claret and blue and white, and Hungerford in. Oh, what the hell? Hyvies. So I don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going with 3 2 home win today, despite being told by a couple of supporters I'm nuts. Now, will the ball go out of play within the next 15 seconds like it usually does, non-league? First yellow. I forgot to say at the start of this video, this match is actually Southern Premier South Division match. Uh, Hungerford won away, no, Hungerford, the away side, won 7 0 last week, and Chesham were 3 0 up at half time, but the game got abandoned due to a waterlogged pitch. So they'll be like um, very incentivised to win today's match. Good save. Great shot, great save. Book, so he's all right now. This <laughs> 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 fellow in the glasses, he's a bit of a character, he's quite funny actually. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently there was an offside. Yeah, the skipper scheming down the wing, steaming down the wing even, and the referees pulled it back for uh, Cheshire fans are like loving that, finding that pretty funny actually. 
A few little handbags going on the far side at the end of the first half. Good half, well done boys. So there we go then, half time, 1-0 to the home side, fully deserved. Um, first 15 minutes was even, Stephen. Uh, Hungerford favouring playing down the wings. Cheshire mixing up a little bit by going long and playing through the middle. But as you can tell by the first half highlights, Cheshire have had most of the chances and they can consider themselves to be a little unlucky to be only 1-0 up. Um, Hungerford would definitely be happy the two teams in that regard. So second half, all to play for. As you can see, I switched sides for the start of the second half. I'm really impressed with this um, ground, I have to say. It's so roomy, with some really good views. And some nice scenery too. Sorry about my finger, the volley's just over. Sixty-five gone now. Uh, not a lot's really happened in the second half. It's gone a bit niggly, scrappy. The crowd's getting on the referee's back a little bit, but I think the, the officials got the game under control. Um, I hope it improves. As I was saying, not a lot has happened and we get two goals in a minute. By the way, not a bad support, uh, 65 miles they travel to get here. So we're going to be playing an additional nine minutes. Still time for Hungerford to get the equaliser. <laughs> to finish it, incoming red card.
Never read. I'm a bit surprised by that one too. I need to see that again. Obviously, ref only gets one view of it though. Chesham United nominated man the next by the Mayor of Chesham is number seven, Tashan Gallimore. Now or never for Hungerford. <laughs> Good old non league. So there it is, 2 1 to the home side, and a thoroughly deserved win. To be honest with you, like I said in the video, nothing happened in the first 20 minutes of the second half, and then the, guy, the game exploded with two goals in a minute. Hungerford had done some late pushing, but they never really threatened to get back into it, and Chesham looked uh, dangerous on the counter attack. All this uh, for the bargain price of 12 quid. You can't really go wrong with non-league actually. You know, rocking up just before the game, no problem with uh, traffic and you get the odd waggle too, which makes you laugh from the crowd. Um, for next week's video, uh, if you can put in the comments um, a destination for me, uh, preferably within a 50 mile radius of Milton Keynes. Uh, thanks for watching it again. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hello mate. Maybe you'll be watching this later on. And uh, I'll see you next next week's video. I've lost my train of mind, but until then, set up. All yours. Say hello to the audience. Hello. Oh, Clara, you are.